show. Well, I think Team, team Awesome is awesome. When you're in a state, tune in to Team Awesome Me. Yeah. Oh, man. What? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Rude. Sorry, we're, we're old school here. We use... um. Uh, wired microphones yep and also we're old school i already said that twice in a row we're Guys, also just old speak for yourself <laughs> so we've got a thing to do and the thing we're doing is a reaction to what it's a ewan mcgregor film but it's also mm-hmm. a part of a shared universe show me your t-shirt oh so um, play with us danny this is the uh sequel follow-up i would mm-hmm. say to the shining this is dr sleep like let's check Exciting. this out i'm really excited about yeah. this i've heard about this for a while so i'm actually really really anticipating this so uh all right let's get to it in three two fun He's back. He's back. Yay. What? He said yay. <laughs> Just talk to the kid. You're magic. Like me. I need you to listen to me. The world's a hungry place. A dark place. Hi there. I only met two or three people like us. They died. When I was a kid, oh. I bumped into these things. Oh. Oh. No. I don't know about magic. I. I always called it the shining. Oh, dude. What? Oh no. Okay. Oh, oh no. I... Whoa. What? Sorry, I felt like oh. I couldn't breathe the whole time. Yeah. Right? Like, that's awesome that I felt like I couldn't breathe the whole time. I know that sounds really... But stay with me on that. I mean, that's how I felt when I watched The Shining. I felt like I couldn't breathe the whole time yep. I was watching. I'm like, is it, is it going to happen? Is something going to happen? You're like, oh. you're like, wait, wait. And then something kind of odd happens. And then mm-hmm. next scene, you're like, what? The tension builds and builds. And it's like, very rarely does it get released. And mm-hmm. so far, I already kind of got that from this trailer. I'm actually really, really surprised that... I'm expecting something completely different from The Shining, but at the same time, yeah. I am expecting a little bit of that shiningness. And they literally, in this trailer, were showing that connection, saying, yes, this is a shared universe, basically, yep. to to the f- original film, if if not an homage to the original film. I don't... Comments below. Yummy mints below, and if they use the actual film footage. I'm sorry, yeah. what'd you get from that? You're a, you're a real... She's a true horror fan. I'm a light horror fan. No, this looks amazing. It, I'm really excited for it, and I think... 
obviously because they were just flashes of scenes it was too hard to tell but like the color saturation looked it looked too new and the framing of all the shots and, yeah. and the position of the characters like. but i feel like there are ways that you can do that and like you see all mm-hmm. these old movies like remastered so it might be the original footage it could be could be that unused they just tinkered with yeah. yeah that's true too um, wow God. because the twins looked the same but it was also far away mm-hmm. so you couldn't really tell i'm really cu- i'm really curious to see whether it's it's actual footage or whether they kind of re-filmed it. You know, uh, ironically, the word I want to use for this uh, trailer is uh, haunting. Yep. Ironically, <laughs> because it's supposed to be. It's a, about a haunted hotel, but also about a man's haunted life mm-hmm. because of The Shining. And man, I haven't read Dr. Sleep. I Me want either. to read it now. I'm very curious. And I know the film and the book are going to be blah, blah, blah. I know. They're different things, man. They're different. I, I know. I just... It's good to see where the source material is. And just to get a, a sort of a, a base of comparison, that's where I'm at. I'd like to read the book and sort of get more of an in-depth mm-hmm. feel for this story now. And that's that's a good thing. And I don't expect the movie to be, you know, completely faithful. I mean, yeah, liberties, right? It's a film versus a, a book, so mm-hmm. I understand. But yeah, I mean, what are your thoughts as far as um, The Shining feels, the the story, the all of it? Yeah, it, it definitely reminded me a, a lot of the atmosphere in The Shining, which is really important, even if it's like an unofficial... If you're paying homage to that in any way, you have to have the atmospheric tension there. Ooh, a haunting homage. Yeah. Those two. Those are the two words I use. <laughs> a haunting homage, it feels, so far, to The Shining. Just the trailer, yeah. which is... That's big props. Mm-hmm. Big props. Big props. <laughs> I do have one question, and I feel like this was ans- this question was answered in The Shining. I, it's just it has been a really long time since I've seen it. Is The Shining basically like they can see and communicate with dead people, or is it more complicated than that? Oh, well, it's Stephen King, right? So, and I think a okay. uh, comment meant below on the author, the co-author. I believe it's his son helped write this. I'm not sure. Mence below mm-hmm. on the co-author, but um, it's heavily steeped in that sort of like super complicated Stephen King lore where it's like you don't you have a bad guy but you're not sure what the origin of the bad guy is let's (laughs) say for a certain movie that's coming out and you're like where is it from what is the bad guy what is this bad guy uh and and you don't really know and it's still kind of vague even in the book so Mm -hmm. and and thus it kind of should be so in this sense to leave it mysterious to not know all the in and outs of it makes it so much more scarier Mm -hmm. for me I agree. Because that's like then it's like wow, it's like you're able to do some really crazy, interesting spiritual stuff, but you have no idea how to do it, and you're and it's just happening, yep. and you're trying your your whole life to figure it out, and there's like no real answers. Mm-hmm. That sounds really cool, and you always, I always wanted to know, right? What happened to Danny at the end of yeah, right? Danny and his mother at the end of The Shining, yeah. like because you know he didn't just have like yeah? a normal, well-adjusted childhood. No way. <laughs> and does his dad haunt him? Like, will we have like? Jack Nicholson like flashbacks yeah. to his dad like stalking him and stuff. I, that yeah, would be really hope cool. So. I gotta read the book. We gotta read the book. <laughs> yeah. Gotta check it out. Anyway, wow. Okay, so we're going <laughs> crazy length on this one, but let's I guess rate it out of five shinings. Or will we say shinings or what's another one let's we're calling? Do shinings. It? Okay, like five shinings? Twins. Five out of five sets of twins. Creepy out of five sets of creepy twins, that's a total of ten. Yeah, that's a lot ten, of twins. Ten people. Um creepy people. Uh what do you give this? I'm going to reel it in a little bit. I'm going to give it a hesitant four because there's Ooh. there's there's so much that that's still good. you want from this movie and I, I don't want to overdo it. I think that's so that that is four. totally fair and I'm I'm yeah. going to piggyback on on the four. I was going to go 4.5 but only only because of the uh, the nostalgia factor was kicking in hardcore yeah. for me mm-hmm. and I love that but at the same time it needs to stand on its own merits. Mm-hmm. So instead of like jumping right at the gate being like hey let's give it a full blown 4.5 or even a 5 because mm-hmm. of the feels. It's like I'm I'm just really excited about this. So but I don't want to be too excited because I've been hurt. Yeah. Not to say I expect to be hurt. I expect to enjoy this. Yes. I'm already Me enjoying too. I'm really excited. And I want to read the book. I keep yes. saying that. Dr. Sleep, November 8th. That's when it's coming out. <laughs> yeah. D- don't forget, like, subscribe, click the bell, and subscribe, and oh, click. Oh, th- no. Click like, the thing. comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every time we post. And that's Just leave that to me. how you do it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, more importantly. Sorry. Not sorry. This has been Team Awesome Team Awesome
team awesome me. Wink, wink. Shut up. Yeah.